Right. Switching it over to, to dashboard cam now. Okay. It's just going right. back light. All right. Um, we're here. We're live. We're doing it. We're doing the damn thing. Uninterrupted. You know, immediately switched over. Uh, immediately you saw starting to the screen. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the thing didn't break at all. We're at 9K bit rate. Steady. Things are going really well. And uh, hopefully it doesn't get cooked. Okay. Oh, that's on my phone. Okay. Um, what's up? What's up? What's up? No, no, you can. No, you can. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? This is what I landed on. I did half braids. Mm-hmm. You did that so quick. It's just impressive. Just for the girls. It's impressive how quickly you did that. Um. Anyway, folks, we are on our way to Harajuku right now. Okay. The fashion district, iconic for streetwear. We are going to go and try out clothes out there in Harajuku. Uh, hopefully, bear with us as we try out the gimbal for the first time ever. If anything fucks up, it's March's fault. Like, for example, right now, the ISO is not stabilizing for some weird reason. That's the, entirely the March's fault. Out windows. Entirely March's fine, fault. It's fine, not a big deal. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, dude. Oh, don't crank it. Oh, no. Now it's going to be... The blind. Let me flash bang all the viewers yeah, real quick. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's all good. Okay, you are shoving something in my ass. My seatbelt. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, here are some fun facts about where we're going. Hold on one second. Yeah, hit us with them. Here's Hold the on. Harajuku facts. I am not reading from the Harajuku Wikipedia. I just have encyclopedia knowledge of Harajuku. A district in Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan. Harajuku is the common name given to a geographic area. Spreading from Harajuku Station to Omote-sando. Corresponding on official maps of Shibuya Ward as Jingu Mae One Chom to Four Chom. In popular reference, Harajuku encompasses many smaller back streets such as the Takashita Street and Cat Street. Spreading from Sendagaya in the north to Shibuya in the south. That's right. Harajuku's history is very important. In the pre-Edo period, the area that came to be known as Harajuku was a small post town on the Kamakura Highway. What is this? The gimbal has a mind of its own. No, I'm moving it. Wait. Oh, you <laughs> are? joystick on the back, bro. Oh, okay. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? Just showing the, the okay. capabilities. Yeah. It was said that in the Gosanen War, Minamoto no Yoshi mustered his soldiers in this area in the hill here is called the Seizoro Saka. It is said that the Igagoi reward for delivering Leyasu Tokugawa safely from Sakai de Mikawa in the Honnoji incident. Okay. Were given to the Iga Ninja in 1590. Um, now, that kind of stuff is whatever, it's bullshit, but the post war occupation is actually interesting. Because a lot of Japan, of, of course, is, you know, post-war, World War II. There's, like, uh, even when we talk about garments, when we talk about Japanese raw denim, a big part of the Japanese raw denim and that culture actually comes from uh, all the materials that uh, the American soldiers have brought over uh, in the aftermath of uh, World War II. And uh, the Japanese fashion with, like, American culture, American fashion, and denim comes from that as well. During the post-war occupation, military housing in the area named Washington Heights was constructed on land now occupied by Yoyogi Park. Oh, Yoyogi Park is so pretty. Yeah. Um, and, you know, in 1964, swimming, diving, and basketball events for the Tokyo Olympics were held in the nearby Yoyogi National Gymnasium. In 1965, the name of the area in the Japanese address system was officially changed from Harajuku to Jingumai. But the name Harajuku persisted due to the earlier naming of the nearby Junior East Harajuku Station. In the 70s and 80s, fashion-obsessed youth culture experienced the transition from Shinjuku to Harajuku, then to Shibuya. Palace France, a building that sold fashion and clothing and accessories, furniture and other goods, was constructed on Meiji Street near the exit of Takashita Street, which is where we're going to be going to. In 1978, the fashion building Lafare Harajuku was opened. Thus, Harajuku came to be widely known as a fashion and retail center. Are you guys paying attention? Yeah, I can totally this will, the this, this this will right be now. on the test. Yeah, okay, this, this uh, be, take yeah, notes. I'm taking notes. Take notes. Everybody, I can't see the chat right now, but I'm sure they're all very honk shoe, honk shoe. No, they're, they're people jeeing probably. And Hold they're, on, they're let me see. They're, be they're bedging. Oh, God, now they're wake jeeing because they never come and see them. Everybody wake up wake quick. Up, wake, up. wake up quick. Teacher's He's coming. looking. Teacher's looking. Well, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> honk shoe, me, me, me. <laughs> Driver sleeping. <laughs> sleeping on the wheel. Stop honk shoe, me, me, me right now. 
You did this. <laughs> no, they not. fell asleep in the class, not because <laughs> the class was bored. And now they're now they're awake. The wakeage. How do you have BTV on your phone? What happens to this? What? What happens to this used for chat? Ha <laughs> ha I'm a ah, dude. It's all good. I'm more of a fucking force and bodge than you are, dude. <laughs> Assassinated a bug right there. Our driver did. The only anyway. bug in Japan. What? The only bug in Japan. Yeah, there haven't been that many bugs in Japan, which is kind of cool. Okay. In the 80s, Takashita Street became known for the teenage street dancing groups called the Takenoko Zoku. From 1977, a Sunday's only pedestrian precinct was established by closing local roads. This produced a surge in people gathering close to entrances of the Yoyogi Park to watch rock and rollers and their new bands performing impromptu open air gigs. In the peak period, crowds of up to 10,000 people would gather. In 1998, the Sunday's only pedestrian paradise was abolished. Uh, the rockabillies, by the way, this is a very real, uh, you know, fascinating aspect of like a marabou culture in Japan. Is the rockabillies that still exist, by the way. You can see a photo of them right here. I can't that, tell that, if it's... Yeah, it's focusing. Yeah, it's focusing. So they're like... They are dressed as rockabillies. There's a cholo culture. There's a cholo um, aspect to Japanese culture. Really? Did you know that? No. You didn't know that? Do they like try to speak Spanish and shit? Uh, no, but they dress up like vatos. That's crazy to me. Yeah. Holy shit. You're over here trying to be a fucking weeb. They're over there trying to be like you, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Which is why I love it. Specifically. Um, but yeah, it's... You know, Harajuku is mentioned a lot in popular culture. You saw the anime uh, references that the, the the dude was like dressed up in. I mean, it's it's had its own uh, different uh, kinds of of. It's had its own uh, different like styles throughout the time. I guess like one of the most popular references to Harajuku is in the the Gwen. tour and in music videos with her Harajuku girls backup dancers attracted much attention and some controversy for her adoption of the aspects of Harajuku teen uh, fashion which was criticized as an example of cultural appropriation but I would say it's one of the more like it was one of the most like, Board, no more lessons, <laughs> fucking assholes. This is a precursor. I'm giving you a. I'm giving you. I'm setting the mood. I'm mood setting. They're not actually bored. They're just fucking with you. Do you not want to learn anything in this experience? No, smile. These motherfuckers. Dude. <laughs> they like learning. That's why they watch you, right? No, definitely not. They watch me because definitely they just not muted. Dreams always unmuted. Yeah, they're they're. You guys are taking notes every day. They watch me because they want to see big chunky hot guy fucking struggle through the streets of Japan. That's what they want to see. Is that what you want to see? Huh? We're going to give you that. I'm already stuffed in here, okay? <laughs> he, he really is. I have no room. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting squished. Yeah, me too. The bit rate is like low-key dropping again. Well, I mean, it's at 3K now, but it's like 3K, oh. 2K. I don't know what that's about. Oh, it's clearer in the tunnels, maybe? Yeah. Oh yeah, we were in the tunnels. Um, yes, Saikuno is sitting in the front. Saikuno and I both get car sick if we don't look out the window. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been staring. I've been looking mm -hmm. at him, just staring forward. <laughs> you don't like the gimbal. It's okay. I, mean, <laughs> I get I get car sick if I don't give you random facts about the place that we're going to. <laughs> Say, how are you looking down for so long? You don't get car sick? Nope. That's what's keeping him from being car sick. Yeah. He's hitting us with facts from his yeah, brain and the, not the Wikipedia. I have the, I'll get, uh, oh, I need to give you information or I die disease, <laughs> like Usopp. And also Soja King, who is a different character and not Usopp. Famously. We were talking about car sickness. I think yesterday and 
I was wondering why do I not get sick in planes or on boats, but I do in cars, specifically in the backseat of cars. Is it because cars stop and go? Does anyone know? Oh, I have no idea. I thought you were going to, you set that up like you were going to tell us. Well, chat I us, would, chat if knows. I had to assume it's because cars stop and go, like, at least on a boat, it's consistent. That is like, like an AI that you can ask. Maybe, probably, yes. I don't get sick on trains either. <laughs> They're saying definitely the motion. Yeah, it's the drop into one, it's effing a little bit. 1,400. Dropping down to 1,100. Do you have the Wi-Fi buddy on too? No. I can add it though. We should definitely add it. The, the Wi-Fi buddy just made it worse. Inner ear fluid moving irregularly <laughs> is what they're saying. Oh. That makes sense. The stop and go on your ear fluids. Get some of this drip. I'm clicking on the link that you just sent me. Let's see. What the fuck? This is what you want me to get, Chatter? This is what we're gonna get, Ray. Ray no, is gonna be in this fit. We are not getting that from Ray. I'm trying to show you more. Maybe we should have swapped spots. Yeah. This angle is crazy. Saikuno and I love sitting in the back of a car and trying to understand what these Japanese commercials are because they are completely indecipherable. And I mean like, not because we don't speak Japanese, but I feel like even if I kind of understood Japanese a little bit, like the, the context clues are not there, okay? You could be watching a commercial with like, like it'll say Panasonic and then it's just like, it's, it's about like eradicating COVID-19 germs. Like what was this about? No one knows. I don't think Japanese people even know. They watch the commercials and they're like, I don't know what they're selling. Who cares? Okay, this is women's wear daily. WWD. It's fashion. I know that. Is it women's wear daily? WWD? No, no, show the ad. It sounds right. It's gone now. What? Why? Oh, is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's up to 6K. We're back up. This one has an American guy in it. Wait, really? It just did, yeah, and he was speaking English. Dude, I want to move out here and be a white monkey so bad. <laughs> WWD equals WWE? No, it's WWD is like a is like a fashion magazine, I think. Just making them watch Japanese commercials. Yes, no, it's good. It'll, it'll also get them to forget that there's a middle of the hour ad break right now. Yo, they got Japanese YouTube ads. Yeah, I mean, this guy's dripped out. We know that. We know he's dripped out the wazoo, so there's that. Okay, what is he selling? What, what's he selling? Financial equipment. Financial instruments. Surely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He is, dude. I'm telling you. Okay, more women's wear daily. Everyone is... <laughs> Traveling is the worst part of these broadcasts because, like, if we go by subway, it Fs routinely. <coughs> if we go by car, then they get car sick so they can't yeah. speak. <laughs> is there a way to open this? No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> well, this is sick. Why do they have this? Like, in a, in a cab? Brace yourself. But, like, why do you need to brace yourself in a cab? Hassan needs his own taxi. Air in this ca car is kept clean by Nanoi, a Panasonic brand. <sighs> I think we're boring the, the dude. He got mad. He's like, turn, turn the radio on. 
yesterday I was playing the the Japanese Communist Party's like anime music in the cab, and they got mad at me. They're like, "Dude, what are you doing? Like, this is." You well, guys know what I'm talking about? Worried about being rude. Yeah. Like being too loud. This. I was yeah. playing this. Oh, God. oh please don't play it. Hassan. For a second, I'm just gonna play it. Oh my gosh. Chat, I was playing this. Okay, stop. I'm, a, I'm gonna jump out. They got so worried. They were like, what? I'm like, no, it's like a very popular and no longer uh, revolutionary, but instead a revisionist communist party now, okay? So there's but nothing to worry he was blasting it on full volume. I was not blasting it on full volume. Full volume. Blasting I it. think our driver was a communist, and he liked it. I could sense, I could sense the revolutionary spirit, and I could sense his mood uplifting immediately. <laughs> like, he, he felt the, the revolutionary spirit from within. Yeah. I'm just saying. Cringe Sturmer Lamau. It wasn't full volume. Everybody stop. Not only was it full volume, he was also playing it from two different phones at what? the same time. It was wild. Are we just making up lies <laughs> now? Is this a live stream? <laughs> Is this your new thing? I mean, you just. You weren't obviously playing on full volume. I have to double down on the sarcasm and exaggeration so they know that I'm joking. I was right, I was right. <laughs> so <convincing>. embarrassing. <laughs> My streamer is cringe. No. <laughs> he had a sound bar. Yeah, I brought my sound bar with me so I get blasted. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do at Harajuku today. We're going to find the communists that love fashion. Fashion communists. That's right. That's my main goal. I'm going to show them out the window. You love this toy. <laughs> I'm getting the most out of it right now. You fucking love it. Like, okay, you asked me for a gimbal. I got you a gimbal. And now you're flaming me for I getting know. you a gimbal. Did I ask you for a gimbal? I you don't said. Yeah. Both of you at different times have asked me for gimbals. You're doing great, Mauricio. Thanks, Ray. That's why I like working don't for you more. Don't let this himbo bring you down. Rich streamer playing communist music on three phones. Yeah. It's fun, right, chat? Wee. <laughs> if people will notice us on here, it will be hot as you do. Fucking window. <laughs> he asked for it, I remember. I don't know. I think you guys are making that up. It is very smooth, though. He which asked for is two cool. gimbals, actually. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> I also asked that. I also asked to not fit in any of the clothes so that you guys can buy them all. <laughs> Why do you keep bringing that up? Dude, it's, it's just hurt my soul. When we walked into that store and literally everyone was laughing at me, it just felt so, <laughs> I felt so sad. It was rough. That was pretty rough. Even I was like, oh, that's kind of BM. <laughs> yeah, no, they literally were like, haha, they were pointing and laughing. <laughs> like, which is crazy. The pointing and laughing is on another level, you know what I mean? Yeah, they kept saying, like, Baka Gaijin, ha ha ha, like, that's when I've experienced racism, true racism, racism of the size, you know what I mean, sizeism, sizeism. <laughs> which is, you know, Scott Adams never talked about that, you know what I mean, he should be, uh, what's up with the Dilbert comics, why isn't he talking about sizeism, he's only like, oh, white people are being oppressed, like, what about tall people, huh, what about tall people? Why are why 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 does our plight fall on deaf ears so frequently? Is it because we're too high up? Huh? You can't hear what's going on there? Raise a tall ally. Oh, Wait, we're here already? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, chat.